In the second month of 217, Federation Solar Year, we met humanity. They were the most average of all species. Humans did not have high intelligence like the other species of the Federation. In fact, in recent studies state that they only stood at around 16th out of the total of 20 species in the Federation Intelligence Database. The Virili stood above all. Their gigantic bulbous heads could calculate and answer questions that would take a trained human 10 minutes to solve in under a second. They could predict and read through scenarios that none in the Federation could even fathom. Their military was only slightly above average. Turns out thousands of years of constant conflict and warfare gave humans an advantage in combat. The Axolani, the very best warrior that the Federation could muster, stood twice the human's height. Their muscular bodies could withstand forces twice their weight. Their legs could outrun a land speeder in full sprint. Their durability is nothing to scoff at. One could withstand a couple of blast fires while naked. Give them armor and their durability skyrockets. Their claws were designed to penetrate thick hide of their prey. It is no wonder they could pierce thick armor with little to no effort. Their prowess in combat was second to none. A single Axolani could fight more than 100 combatants, or two tanks. One could go on and on about the averageness of humans. In terms of efficiency, the Alani takes the top. Engineering, Quolata. Farming, Kelon. Shipbuilding, Serata. There was no reason for the Federation to even accept the mediocre humans. So why, then? Why would the Federation accept humans? This was the question that many netizens in the Federation asked millions of times, and yet the Federation's elders, yes, the elders, an elected higher body of the Federation compromising of elected leaders from the ambassadors, none of which are human, by the way, declined and outright refused to answer, always giving vague answers or changed the topic entirely. I have searched through millions of data and thousands of hours reading such data, translating, compiling, organizing, and categorizing all of them to give you readers an answer. Theories have been made about this issue. Some of it you can read on my past blogs, but I believe that I have found an answer. The theory of humanity being more powerful than the Federation is confirmed. According to secret military data, which I will not disclose as to where I found it, it tells us that a mock battle between the Axolani and humanity ended with an Axolani victory. You might be saying to yourself, but Zikan, this just proves that the Axolani is better. But that's where you're wrong. That mock battle was 3 to 1. And guess who had the advantage? None other than the Axolani. It turns out that it was a mock battle requested by the human ambassador to test a newly created soldier group called Legion. The document here states that the Axolani brought up an entire battalion with tanks and supporting units against two platoons of the Legion. Apparently a mistranslation led to the 3 to 1 ratio. The Axolani was only supposed to bring the same number of men as the humans had. The only reason the Axolani won was because the humans did not have enough manpower and ammunition to hold the point against Axolani attack. They stated here that the Legion soldiers decimated around five platoons worth of Axolani. It even says here that the Legion soldiers were able to disable a tank supported by infantry with just eight men by beating the shit out of them because they ran out of ammo and used the anti-tank weapon the enemy was holding to disable the tank. Here is another one. The Virili, right? The Federation stated that the species were much smarter than the humans, right? Turns out they are correct, but the Federation's estimates are wrong. They failed to include human-made AI. Turns out they just up and created one of the most intelligent beings in the entire universe, and this AI could outsmart and outthink the Virili ten times over. What about efficiency? You might ask. Well, the humans are not the most efficient, but humans have a saying. Why change what is working? This might be a translation error on my part. Have you ever seen a human engineer? 
They are the most notorious and resourceful and dangerous kind of human. That is what it says here in a report from a ship that was given a human engineer. A human engineer tinkering with stuff is not a good sign, as the end result would either be a genius invention or an outright disaster, states a crew member. So why is it that human engineers are not at the top of the list? Well, according to this document, it was a precaution. If the entirety of the Federation employed human engineers, there might be some accidents that may happen, due to the human tendency of creation, and the Federation opted to change the result to protect the people. Farming. The humans only have a couple of systems in their name, but could output half of what the Kellon could farm. Upon more research, they even have a super plant that could grow in any climate they call a potato. Some of the variants of the plant could even grow in desert condition. Shipbuilding. I believe that the Federation is also lying about this one. I have here a full documentation of an old super destroyer the humans deemed as old. It was called the USS Hammer. Fitting name. It was a super destroyer class battleship that, in combat situations, housed over 5,000 marine crew. It has a Lion class warp core that can make five warp jumps before overheating. Its hull was around almost a kilometre thick armour, with shielding, mind you. It's around several kilometres in width and length. Absurd, right? Well, look. Here is a clause on what it had as weapons. It had not one nor two, but three twin railguns as its main cannon. Two normal railguns, six medium plasma cannons, four missile ports, 25 kinetic auto miniguns, and it has a hangar that could house four laser boarding torpedo ships, or six small fighter ships. What the actual freak? It stated here that the only reason it was decommissioned was because the warp drive was not up to code, and could not be upgraded, and nowhere here does it state that it was scrapped, which means somewhere in human space this behemoth is sitting still and waiting to be released. I believe the humans are hiding their best ships, and only showing mediocre ships and labelling them as their best, to fool the Federations and hide their true potential. If that is not enough to convince you that the humans are far stronger than what the Federations are telling us, then here... Do you all remember the Tullians, the highest species that declared war on the Federation? The Federation told us that they had made peace with the aliens, right? That was what the news was telling us. Well, guess what? When I was grinding my behind reading and translating data, I found out that the ship the USS Hammer was apparently a veteran in the Hive Wars. I found a document here the state's a mission briefing dating 6,000 solar cycles ago, which means that humanity fought these beings long before we even knew they existed. I translated the briefing into Galactic Common. Here is the audio recording of the briefing. The file is corrupted due to age, but I try my best on translating what little I could understand. Have a listen. <sighs> okay, ladies and gents, we're at the final stage. <sighs> Want you to lead. Hold ground against the Armada. Breakthrough. Opportunity to kill the... 16,000 human ships are here to give you... Victory or defeat. It's all on your hands. The Federation is lying to us. There must be a reason why. Anyone who is reading this, believe me when I say... The Federation is lying to you. The Axolani are not the greatest warriors in the galaxy. The Varelli are not the smartest. I believe, ladies and gentle beings, that the Elder Council of the Federation is a sham. They are being controlled, and I believe it to be the humans. Fear the humans. No one is safe. If this is to be my last blog, tell my family it was not suicide. Last blog of Zakan Mueller, founder of the Net Community, Human Conspiracy, before taking his own life. Five hours later.